Hello guys, welcome back. I hope you are doing great. In this video, I will go through this open source model named GPT for all model from Nomic AI. This is similar to the Alpaca model. What they have done here is using the open AI's GPT 3.5 Torvo model to generate the training data and fade it into the Llama model. First, in this video, I will show you how you can run the model locally in your terminal. And then I will show you how you can run the same model in the Google Colab. And after that, we will also go and visualize the training data. Let's get started. Now I am on the GitHub repository of GPT for all model. If you can see here, it says that it is a chatbot trained or a massive collection of clean assistant data including core stories and dialogue if you scroll little bit down here they have provided the technical report if you click this technical report it will open the technical report of course and here they have written all the things that they tried what is the process of data collection and the curation how they did the model training and what is the cost and how you can reproduce the result and so on but the main part here is initially they uh, collected roughly 1 million prompt response pairs using the GPT 3.5 Torbo OpenAI API between this time. And then after cleaning the data, they have 437,605 cleaned prompt generation pairs. And they fed that into the Llama model. And you can even visualize cleaned data with p3 so p3 contains many homogeneous prompts with produce sort and homogeneous responses and cleaned without p3 so if you click on this cleaned with p3 right click and open in new tab it will open in the wave ui and you can go and visualize each and every prompt or each and every training data if you hover here it's giving like random things but from here you can even sort let's say we want to be focused on data science related things so if you click data science then this will be filtered based on data science and it is shown here how do you define data science so this is the prompt and this is the response and here there is next icon you can just go through the second and here is how do you define data science and all these things and when you click this next it will be showing in the in the website already here so you can just hover here randomly somewhere and then see okay what is the prompt and what is the response so this is the data how they created to fade into the llama model this is really good how they have shown here in the diagram itself so that we can go and see what kind of prompts they use to train the model. It's good because you can take reference of this kind of prompts for your daily interaction with ChatGPT or GPT for all model. Now let's get back to the GitHub page and run the model locally. To run the model locally, there is just three simple steps that you need to follow. First, you need to download the bean file, which is around 4 GB. And the next, you need to clone this particular repository and then run the command to have the interaction with the model. What I will recommend you is to do the second step first so that you don't need to download and copy a bin folder again. First, let's go and clone the repository. For that, you can just go up here and in this code section, just click here and the clone copy the HTTPS. Go to your terminal, just navigate to any folder you want in your computer and just type git clone and control V to paste the command. If you run enter, I have already downloaded this in this particular desktop. So it says here destination path already exists, but for you it should clone the repository. So if you do alias, there is this GPT for all. You can go inside this folder or repository now. CD GPT for for all if you do alias yeah, there are many folders and files but we need to go inside chat cd and chat if you do alias i have already downloaded the gpt for all lora quantized bin 
using the wget command. So I recommend using wget if you are in Linux or Mac OS. In Linux, wget is already available. But in Mac, if you don't have, you can install using the brew install wget. So it will install wget for you. And in Windows, you can just go through the git repository here and just click on this direct link and download in that particular folder inside chat so you don't need to download and copy again but for linux and mac os users just right click and copy link address go back to the terminal and just type wget and paste the thing that you just copied this will then install this particular .bin file inside this chat folder it will take some time to download. Once the download is completed, the, the next thing that we need to do is run the appropriate command for your OS to have interaction with the model. Just make sure which more which you are using. For me, this first one is what I'm going to run. So if I go inside the terminal, I'm inside the chat folder, I can just type dot slash meaning that in this particular folder i need to run this particular script and then if you just type enter it will load the model for you and now here are some of the things it says Control c to interject at any time please return to return control to llama if you want to submit another line end your input with the slash so you can now ask as many questions as you want so now let's see how you can run this particular model in google collab by the way if you if you are new to something and if you want to explore more what i would suggest you to go to github and then just type what you are searching for so here i just type gpt for all and i source this whole github all github and the first two are from nomic ai of course and the third one i just stumbled upon this gpt for all collab so this is created by Kamenduru, thank, thanks a lot for creating this repository. What he has done is provided a sample code for us to run on Google Colab using the CPU device. So if you click this open in Colab, it will open in Google Colab. You see that there are just two cells we need to run. The, the, the first thing what I recommend you to do is create a copy to the drive so that you can run this yourself later on. I have already done this and if you see here this is the copy of that particular file and I have already installed all the packages and dependencies you need to first run this and then run the xtom so once you run these two commands and follow the instruction which is mentioned here it is same as what we did in our local machine so you need to go inside the content. It's already here inside the content. If you go inside GPT for all, so I went inside GPT for all. I went inside chat. I went inside chat. And then I run this GPT for all, which is for Linux in this case, because in Google Colab, it is open in a Linux machine. So you can just type dot GPT for all load account as Linux 86 then it will load the machine for us and there is a prompt to ask the question similar to what i just showed you in the local machine so you can ask the question here it's little bit slower than in the local machine but you can quickly run this in google collab and test what kind of performance it has similar to chat gpt or is it bad or is it good whatever it is based on your use case so yeah this is how you can quickly run this model in google collab by the way if you want to run this as a python client you can use the cpu interface as well as the gpu interface i just showed you how you can run this in your terminal and in the google collab but you can use this as a python code for example you can install the package using pip and then run in your python code so that is that simple and all the instructions are provided here in a really clear manner so you can follow these instructions and run this as a gpu or cpu interface as you want so yeah this is the short video i want to create about this i hope you find it helpful 
let me know if you were able to run it locally or not or if you faced any issues in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.